2.35 a.m. You're probably wondering, the heck is this guy doing up? Couldn't sleep. And uh, I figured I'd, I'd tell a story, a heartwarming story. I, uh, my printer I hadn't used in months and I didn't know about deep cleaning and physically cleaning out the cartridges or the, uh, the, port, the ports and that type of thing. Back then, <clears throat> he was moving to uh, somewhere in Asia. I can't remember exactly. Eastern Asia. And he couldn't bring it on the plane. It's too bulky. It's a nice printer. It's an HP office jet. At the end of the video, I'll show you, I guess. He said, it's free. I said, what, you're joking? He said, no. He seemed like a nice guy. And I thought, wow, you know, that's, that's really cool. I don't know. I haven't actually looked up how much these things are worth, these printers. But I imagine they're not cheap. It's an all-in-one office jet. It's a few years old, likely. But uh, the reason I'm bringing that up as I did do a, a deep cleaning of the um, ink ports and uh, the cartridge ports and um, I had asked uh, HP, the company that makes it, to deliver it to my home. They did not do that. So it's at the post office. It's not a big deal. It's minutes from where I live so hopefully I'll pick that up today but I thought that was a really kind gesture on his part I mean uh, yeah he could have just set it on the curb I guess right but um, it's it's helped me out a lot so uh, I've been a bit bitter I've mentioned uh, in, in, in some recent videos about some medical stuff and it feels like I spend sometimes half a day just talking on the phone organizing appointments I don't know if you can see that whiteboard I probably shouldn't show it anyway <laughs> a little too revealing anyway um, one other thing I'm gonna try to do is learn how to cut my own hair and I realized I need to get another mirror to do it properly, I think. I haven't scoured, I believe that's the word, scoured this whole apartment for a second mirror. But it's necessary, I think, for what I want to do. But I did most of it last night, so I'll finish that up today. Go for a, a, a new start, so to speak. Um, doing well on the smoke front, the booze front. The, the weight is coming off, actually. I think I'm down to about 300, which I hadn't been in some time, which is good. Um, and I'm starting to feel a bit stronger. I shouldn't be up at this time. Like I said, it's not even 3 a.m. It's not very... My sleep schedule is all out of whack still. But, uh, yeah, I thought about that guy. and Just how nice of a gesture that was. I was in disbelief that he would just give me that printer. But uh, I said, oh, you're up. You get 20 or something at least. Buy you a coffee. He was living by... Um, Tim's on, uh, well, for those of you who know, who know Peterborough, Park Street, or G, there's a Tim Hortons there. He was living right around there. He, he declined. 
I could see it elsewhere to be, as did I, but what's the right thing to do? So I try to be a little more uh, cheerful, let it radiate. I have noticed that I've been a little crustier and some of that's understandable but I, I think I can rein it in a bit I have a tendency to isolate I don't want I don't want people to see that side of myself <laughs> but I noticed that uh, when I get out and talk I get you know socialized right it, I'm a social person, for the most part, not completely. I feel better. <clears throat> so I just got to keep reminding myself that, you know what, I'm going to be the one drinking this anyway. A finger will suffice as a straw for the time being. You have a great day. Let's see how this... Uh, hair cutting experiment goes and I'm going to try to think of something generous to do um, based on that memory I guess that was last year have a great day cheers